At a glance, the iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't look or feel much different from the preceded it and perhaps that's not to be expected. The competitive game of smartphones is now one of inches. The question is can the small or even invisible changes add up to something big? In the early going with the iPhone 16 Pro Max, I would say the answer is yes. Design-wise, it's a doppelganger for the Apple 15 Pro Max, expect it isn't. As soon as I held a sleek titanium black one, I was struck by the screen. It's still Super Retina XDR but somehow it seems much larger. While the iPhone 15 Pro Max offered a 6.7 inch display, this one is 6.9 inches. That is Apple's largest iPhone display ever. Thankfully, Apple did not do this by simply making the whole device larger. One way Apple gained so much visible screen real estate was by shrinking the black bezel surrounding it way down. I suspect that someday that bezel will disappear altogether. A bigger screen does make everything seem bigger, brighter and better, but it's not just that. The other big changes are in software and silicon. Inside the iPhone 16 Pro Max is the new A18 Pro. This is the Apex Apple Silicon mobile chip, a 3 nanometer CPU that has more power for the Pro phones. It should also provide enough power to game to your heart's content. The iPhone 15 Pro Max was a pretty decent little gaming console so I would expect no less from this bigger and better equipped beast. I will know more when I finally test the phone. Is this the best iPhone Apple has ever made? Possibly, it will certainly claim a spot near the top of our best iPhone list and maybe even best smartphones. I will offer my definitive take when I finish my full review. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.